Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone, and in this video I'm going to do an introduction tutorial to Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get started. So before we get started with the tutorial, I just want to let everybody know that I'm not a Final Cut Pro uh, expert. All my previous video editing was done in iMovie, and I made the uh, switch to Final Cut Pro 10 when Final Cut Pro 10 was announced. I'll talk about that transition from iMovie to Final Cut Pro 10 in an upcoming video. I'll also talk about the pros and cons of Final Cut Pro 10 uh, and whether or not you should consider purchasing Final Cut Pro 10 in an upcoming video. But in this video, I just wanted to keep it really simple. I wanted to show you the basic layout of Final Cut Pro 10, um, some of the, the uh, uh, features of Final Cut Pro 10, and how to create a new project. So let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. So let's go ahead and look at the layout and the user interface of Final Cut Pro 10. Over here you have your events library and your events browser. Uh, I know what you're thinking, this looks a lot like iMovie, um, but uh, this is your events library and your events uh, browser. I have two uh, clips in this event. I've got this clip right here and this one right here. Um, you can set your in and out points by uh, clicking on the clip and then dragging um, the in and out points to wherever you want, just like that. And then you can either drag the clip down to the timeline um, or you can use uh, these insert buttons down here. I'll talk more about these buttons in just a second. So this is your uh, events library and your events browser. Over here we have the uh, video canvas where you can um, scrub through and see the video in your uh, clip in your events browser or you can come down to the timeline and scrub through the video just by moving your mouse back and forth. So that's the uh, video canvas over here. And then of course down here we have the timeline where you do your precise editing um, and insertion of your clips into your project. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, create a new project. Um, one thing that you want to remember when creating a new project um, are the custom settings right here. Uh, normally some of these settings are set to default uh, settings, uh, like the audio channels are normally defaulted to surround. And you want to make sure that the uh, default is set to stereo, especially if you're uploading to uh, YouTube. If you have surround sound set uh, for the audio channels when you upload your video to YouTube, the uh, audio will be distorted. So just remember to select the custom settings and make sure you select the audio channels to stereo. I'm going to call this uh, Final Cut Pro 10 Test. And I'm also going to uh, create a new uh, event. I'm also going to call that Final Cut Pro 10 Test. So you can either import uh, media files directly from your hard drive or you can input um, a video from your camera. I'm going to go ahead and select a file from my hard drive. One thing that you'll immediately notice is the uh, video clip that uh, we have just imported into this event um, is already uh, ready to use and ready to edit. I can select the uh, the clip. I can select my uh, in and out points like that and then I can uh, either drag the clip directly into the timeline or I can use one of these three buttons to position the clip in the timeline. So I'm just going to simply drag it down to the timeline. I've got my video clip right there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over um, the uh, buttons from left to right. But one of the things I wanted to show you really quickly is the uh, background status uh, bar right here. Um, this shows you the status of background tasks, tasks that are being handled in the background. Uh, that's one of the big features of Final Cut Pro 10. A lot of the uh, tasks are um, handled in the background such as importing video, uh, transitions and effects, and you can see the status of those background tasks right here. So I'm going to start from left to right. Again, you can import media using this button right here. Uh, it'll import media directly from your camera instead of having to 
import the media from your camera to your hard drive and then into Final Cut Pro. So that uh, really saves you a big step. You can tag your video clips and, and prioritize them with uh, uh, the star rating. Um, you, over here we have the keyword editor. Uh, and again, we have these three buttons which allow you to position clips in your timeline. One of the important features of Final Cut Pro 10 are the shortcuts. Uh, these are the most commonly used um, functions in Final Cut Pro 10, and to the right of those functions are the keyboard shortcuts. really encourage you to learn these shortcuts as it will really streamline your video editing and save you a lot of time. Over here we have the playhead timer. Uh, it shows you where your playhead is in relation to the video. And over here we have the uh, audio levels and the two channels, so when you're scrubbing through you can see the audio levels. Uh, over here we have the uh, enhancements menu. I'll talk more about this in an upcoming video. And over here we have the uh, retiming options. Again, I'll talk about that in an upcoming video. So here we have the video effects. Um, there's a ton of video effects in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, one of the cool features about Final Cut Pro 10 is you can select a video clip. You can preview the effect just by um, scrolling through the effect in the effects menu, so that's kind of neat. Uh, you can come over here and select um, media from your iPhoto library. You can also select audio from your iTunes library. Uh, we have transitions here. Again, you can preview these transitions just by highlight th highlighting them and then scrolling through them. We'll take a look at a cross dissolve and you can see how that would look uh, before adding it to your timeline. We have text effects and titles. Again, you can select one and preview that. Uh, and now we have themes. Uh, there's a ton of themes and video transitions that you can uh, do with themes. Again, you can preview these. Just select one, scrub through it, and you can see how that theme would look in your video before actually adding it to your video. Uh, the next button is the information button. Uh, it gives you information about specific uh, um, parts of your project. It also allows you to uh, perform additional features on your video clips. If we come over here uh, to this button down here, this is your project's library button. Uh, the information uh, box also gives you some really good information about your project. Uh, and one key important button is the modify um, projects properties uh, button. You'll need to remember this button if you want to make changes to your project after you've created your project. For example, if you want to change the name of the project, you can quickly do that by clicking that button. You can change the video properties. Uh, you can also change the audio uh, properties as well. So for example, say you forgot to select uh, stereo, you can go back into the modified properties and select stereo before you uh, actually export your video. So that's a uh, key function that you want to remember. So we'll go ahead and close the information uh, box here. We'll go ahead and close the themes and we'll go back to uh, this test project. So you can scrub through your video by just dragging the mouse from the left to the right. You can turn off audio scrubbing by clicking this button so you can just scrub through the video or you can turn off scrubbing all together. So we'll go ahead and turn scrubbing back on. I'm going to show you a quick video editing feature. Uh, again, here's the shortcuts menu. Um, here's the blade um, uh, tool. Uh, you can select it from the drop-down menu, or you can just simply select the B key, and now you have the blade tool, which like, looks like a razor. You can position that anywhere in your video, and then cut the video in half, uh, and then you can come over to the transitions for example, and let's add a cross dissolve. Just drag that over there and now we have a cross dissolve. So that's been my quick intro to Final Cut Pro 10. Um, I'm going to be covering a lot more features in upcoming tutorials. If you have any questions about this uh, introduction video, just leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer that. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really supports the community and helps build the channel and I'd really appreciate it. Uh, until next time, I will talk to you later.